It's like a pumpkin nude, if that makes any sense. I'm getting chills when they tell me you're not yourself. Trying to move, but it's hard, I'm out of Nothing belongs to you in life Oh, the picture of you cuts like a knife Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do They're running in circles, circle of fools Whatever we will means got nothing to prove But in the dark it's Whatever they call us, whatever they do, they're running in circles, circle of fools. Whatever we will means got nothing to prove. But in the dark, I'm starting to. happy to come talk to you today you know I was using the Burt's Bees um, shade blush basin and that is a dupe for a shade that has been discontinued by Kat Von D and I can't think of the name of the shade um, I uh, I was told that by my friend Cindy and Kathy you know have you ever seen these videos on YouTube where uh, the gal will say you know YouTube made me buy it uh, and I, I always see those and I always chuckle and uh, I, I, you know, sometimes fall victim to that and I actually did uh, fall victim to that. <laughs> I kept seeing these reviews over and over again um, from gals saying, oh my goodness, the most wonderful makeup in the world is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Uh, it has the most beautiful finish. It stays for hours and hours. It makes you glow. It makes you smarter. It buys you a new... <laughs> anyway, you get my drift. But this Pro Glow one, I started to see reviews on it last June. And the finish that uh, some of the folks were getting with it was absolutely beautiful. Now, I didn't get to see a mature woman uh, review the makeup, so I was very, very curious uh, what this would be like on older, mature skin. So, yeah, okay, YouTube made me do it. I did. I went out and I bought it. It's very difficult to find. Uh, it was sold out in two places uh, that I went to uh, go pick it up. Uh, the third place was the charm. But this is what it looks like. It is uh, medium coverage. Uh, it gives you a very radiant, glowing finish. And they claim that it lasts 24 hours because, you know, we all leave our makeup on for 24 hours. No. No, we don't. So when you get this makeup, you want to shake it up really, really well. And you can hear it. Kind of move it around in there. And it's not a silicone based makeup and it comes out very, very, very thin. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Kogan Doe uh, foundation. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, I tell you, when I was in the store and I did the tester, it was the most beautiful finish I had ever seen in my life on my hand. So I thought, well, if this was being sold for hand makeup, I'd be all set. But it's it it just dries down to the most 
beautiful thing you ever saw on your hand. It doesn't accentuate any of your pores or lines on your hand. So I thought, okay, you know, I have to have it. This is the first makeup that I have ever seen uh, suggest how they want you to apply it. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. And they say they want you to uh, take a little bit and in a rolling motion, use your fingers and go over your face. And that reminds me a lot of if you use a, a primer like the Pore Fashional, where it's more of a, or any kind of silicone primer where you're kind of tapping it into your pores to minimize uh, uh, what your pores look like. This is what they're kind of telling us to do with this particular makeup, kind of pat it in uh, for a uh, very flawless finish. And what made me bring up the Kogan dough is I do remember years ago, uh, there was a beautiful woman on uh, uh, YouTube uh, named Donna Shorts, and she was showing us how to apply the Kogan dough foundation. And <laughs> I remember she said, you know, it's a little tedious, but you really want to push it in there every inch of your skin. Well, I didn't go that far. Um, I just sort of dotted it on my face and then kind of with a rolling motion, I did put it on. And I didn't really see any difference in applying it that way than I did the day before with the Beauty Blender. Both methods, I think are beautiful. So I think no matter how you apply the makeup, I think you really are going to love it. And I do mean love. Uh, the makeup is, it, the makeup gives you an amazingly flawless uh, finish and it gives you a tremendous amount of coverage. And I didn't have to build it up. I didn't want to build it up. At my age, I don't want to have to build up makeup. If I need extra coverage someplace, then I'm going to use a concealer. But I did not have to build up this makeup. So it gave me great coverage. It gave me a beautiful finish. I did not have polka dot pores. It did not settle into my lines. It just made me glow. I think there are times when we have uh, more mature skin and more mature facial structure that uh, too much uh, glimmer, too much shine is probably not in our best interest, uh, especially if uh, our foundation is giving off, uh, you know, gray tones or um, yellow tones that you're not really going to want to be, uh, you know, catching the light and shining. Um, what I found is after I used this foundation, uh, it just looked sweet. It looked, it looked dewy and it looked like I had a, an amazingly healthy glow. I think it scared me a little bit because when my face would catch the light and you can probably see it here on camera, it's not the kind of foundation you'd really want to wear on camera because it's sort of bouncing the light and catching the light. But it is giving me this glow on my forehead and I'm not used to that and I don't know if I really like that or not. Uh, I probably would go over it with a light powder, uh, but that sort of defeats the purpose of having it, you know, kind of glowing. I set very realistic expectations for myself when it comes to foundation. Uh, you know, I'm 61 and I have enlarged pores, I have fine lines, uh, I have some acne scars. I mean, you know, what do I want? You know, what I really want is to look even, to look healthy, and to look put together. And I want my face to look the best it can be. I want, you know, discolorations to sort of be evened out. I don't want a lot more than that. So what this particular makeup has done for me is it has kind of, for the very first time, it sort of opened up that possibility uh, that makeup might be a little bit more than just coverage. Um, but this is my first impression because I've only used this three times. So this is definitely a first impression. Uh, I want to wear this every day. I, I'm very curious how things are reacting. Um, the thing that you really notice is super lightweight and it doesn't move. It doesn't get on your hands. It doesn't get on your phone. It doesn't get on your pillow. It doesn't move. And I, you don't have to set it with anything. It, it just doesn't move. And that would kind of imply that it's drying on the skin. It doesn't feel tacky at all. It doesn't feel dry, but it doesn't feel tacky. It just feels like it is not going to budge. It's not going to move. So I think that's very interesting. It, it, you know, it gives you a lot of confidence. So I would definitely at this point say, you know, 
Yeah, for $11.99, it comes in 12 shades. Yeah, I would try it. I like it. favorite things that I started doing this summer is I've been removing my makeup with coconut oil so I bought one of these huge containers of it uh, organic coconut oil and then I bought some of these cotton pads uh, these cotton wipes and at night I just I get this a little bit damp and then I massage the coconut oil into my skin and then I just wipe it away and it really is an amazing difference between when I didn't do that and now when I do um, I use a uh, rosehip seed oil and that uh, has a uh, you know like a tretinoid in it uh, so it's acting like a retin-a so it gives me dry patches sometimes but since I've been removing my makeup with the coconut oil it doesn't do that anymore so I'm really happy about that so uh, the coconut oil the organic coconut oil has become one of my very favorites this summer Another thing that I have loved this summer is a new mascara by CoverGirl, and it's uh, the Queen Collection. Uh, it's the uh, Fault Slash Drama, and it's in a kind of a gold and black tube. It has a very small wand, and that's really good, you know, for mature ladies because our lashes flatten out, and we really can't take all that product that a huge wand puts on our lashes. So this is kind of nice because it's a small uh, a very small wand and it gives your lashes that look of kind of false lashes well what I do is I use, I use um, the fibers uh, from the I use a wet n wild uh, fiber uh, lash fiber uh, product so then I will put this on first and then I put the fibers on and then I follow it up with this but I don't always do that. I mean, this is just really good on its own. So, um, yeah, this was a amazing surprise to me that this was so effective. So, and it's kind of cool, kind of cool looking, kind of hip. <laughs> I feel so Chrissy Hines today, you know, with my crazy hair and my eyeliner and my little black jacket. <laughs> you know, Chrissy Hines, the pretenders, brass in pocket. Oh my gosh, she wrote so many wonderful songs. Just a great rock and roll lady. Um, I wanted to thank you so much for spending this time with me today. It means so much to me. And um, I just wanted to thank you all for your love and your kindness. And I wanted to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by Andy Rooney. Um, it kind of goes along with a lot of the things that we've been uh, talking about and sharing and so the quote goes like this. An older woman knows herself well enough to be assured in who she is, what she is, and what she wants, and from whom. Few women past the age of 50 give a damn what you might think of her. And I love that quote. <laughs> Few women past the age of 50 give a damn what you might think of her and I think that is so true and it definitely is uh, since I have a tendency to overthink things I think that is a huge goal of mine is to know I'm doing the right thing to have a lot of self-confidence and just to move forward um, and not worry not be concerned what people think at all so with that I want to tell you that I love you I adore you I want you to have a wonderful brand new week and I want you to come back and see me and Cooper okay okay I'm getting chills when they tell me you're not yourself trying to move but it's hard I'm out of
Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do, they're running in circles.